What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba. Uh, we are here at Wittenberg Access. We're gonna do another nighttime search, see what treasures we can find. Uh, I've got quite a few docks here behind me. One, two, uh, three, four, five. I think there's actually six ramps here that we're gonna check out. Uh, there's one, two, three docks, so there's one on each side, so yeah. Hopefully we'll have a good dive tonight. We've already got a truckload. Uh, Y'all probably already seen in our other two videos. We've actually hit three accesses tonight, but this this will be the third one here. But stick around with us, and we'll see what we find.
somebody just caught him and released him or what, but he's probably a three or four pounder. All right guys, so we just got finished up here at Wittenberg Access. Um, I think my camera actually died halfway through this, so you may not get to see all the underwater footage and I apologize for that. But uh, pretty good finds here. I'm gonna take you through a couple of the cool things we found. Of course, got a 20 to 25 pound anchor here. Uh, a couple bungees. Um, one of them umbrella rigs, they tend to be highly expensive here. So nice umbrella rig. Um, one of my other divers found this turbo prop here. Um, appears to be in good shape. Looks like it just spin off the back of the motor. Got several trailer tags. We tend to always find NIMS. This one here is from Georgia. Uh, kind of odd. It's from Georgia. We're in North Carolina. I'm sure it's pretty well stolen. Got a kid's scooter here. Uh, just a half of a fishing rod. Reel may be able to clean up. Got another little motor bracket here. Uh, got a fire poker that we found. Um, a couple little odd end tools. We got a ratchet wrench here got a uh, adjustable wrench, a bobber. You can see what sunglasses, I'm gonna run you through them in just a minute. Once again, found our gold mines here, which is all our uh, cell phones, couple iPhones here. iPhones, not really good to us, ain't no cards in them. But this one's actually got an OtterBox case with it, appears to be in excellent condition. 
we'll get that cleaned up that might be a good ebay item there a couple old nokia's uh, we did come across some old baseball cards maybe some of you guys in youtube land will know what these are johnny bench from the reds uh, greg olson from the orioles and i don't see a name on this one but he played for the astros they're actually in a protective case i don't know if the case is actually waterproof or not and i actually feel pretty confident that there's more of these down there uh, who knows, maybe a, a wife got mad at the husband, took his old baseball card collection, threw them in the water here, who knows. But we'll, we'll check in them, see what they're worth. Uh, got another credit card here. This appears to be a Visa debit card. Uh, not going to tell you who it's by here, but we'll, we'll get that turned in to the right authorities. A uh, couple different pairs of sunglasses. This is, appears to be a, a cheap Ray-Ban knockoff here. It's actually missing a lens. And it says made in China, so I'm going to say they're not Ray-Bans couple pair of uh, metal frame glasses here we'll get them cleaned up they've got serial numbers on them and it does say it's polarized but we'll look them up and see what they're worth uh, this is a pair of cheap appears to be Ray-Ban knockoff says Providence Park on it I uh, got a couple other cheap pair here we actually did find a pair of Ray-Bans tonight uh, and they're actually in really good condition the lens do not appear to be eat up they are polarized lenses so we'll get them cleaned up. Um, I've actually got somebody very special in mind for these. Uh, she asked me the other night if I found a pair of Ray-Bans if she could buy them. So I'll probably be giving her a car, call first thing in the morning on these. And of course, the last thing we found is this gold ring. Now it's definitely not the first gold ring that we've ever found in the lake, but it's the first one we found while treasure hunting. We usually get calls, people drop them off a dock. Uh, now to be completely honest with you, we don't know if it's actually gold or not, but it's very pliable and soft, kind of like gold is. So uh, one of my slip customers is a jeweler, so I'll probably take this thing down to him tomorrow um, and have him test it for me. So yeah, definitely a great way to end our night of treasure hunting. You know, a pair of Ray-Bans and a gold ring. Can't beat that. Guys, I really appreciate you coming along on this dive with us. If you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. Give us a shout out. If you've got a dock or something in your area and you want us to come dive it, we'll be happy to come out there and find the treasures for you. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.